Okay, um, if you go to MISC, okay, um, check driver enforcement status. Welcome back to another exciting video on this channel. So, in this video, I want to show you how to fix this issue on SAM FW2 you probably must have encountered it once or twice then uh, i'll open my frp some frp to connect my phone um let me check their recent version version 4.9 as at the time of recording this video okay i'm not connected to my internet let me connect now um i prefer using this um 3.2 because of some of uh, some of the features there especially the um mtp open browser stuff i mean i don't think it's on um, 4.9 i think i've checked once or twice and i didn't see it let me confirm Okay, this is Samsung tab. Um, it's not here. Okay. Okay yeah it's not here which is why i prefer using um 3.2 now here's the i've connected my samsung phone to the laptop and um as you can see I, my drivers is already installed so it's displaying here now when if you want to um, do some kind of frp that you need to use um, this open browser youtube and you press it this is what you get to tell you your drive signature of disable status is one over three is not complete do you want to disable drive signature now blah 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 when you if you press yes you still get the system will reboot and it will still stay on the same thing so whenever you press it again it will still tell you do you want to blah 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 your system will reboot now your system will definitely reboot but nothing changes now if you go to the misc uh, tab this is the misc tab um check driver enforcement signature which is your first one your one over three then you install your Samsung driver. That's how this Samsung mobile USB modem is even displaying because I already have this done. Then the install Visual C++ 215, I already have it done too. Then enable or disable and all those stuff. If I check, um, you see no integrity checks, test signing, not set, not set. That's the only one that is set um, that actually passed the uh, host of was um, disable integrity checks, which is pass, no integrity checks, not set, test signing, not set, which means this is the reason why you have one over three. Now, to be able to do this, you need to um, disable um, test signing, enable, yes, you need to boot your PC into test mode so that your SAM FW2 will be able to accept the, do the integrity check and um, the test signing for you. And when you've successfully done that, it will now allow you to be able to, to use show that to YouTube option. Enable, disable integrity checks and enable test signing so that your PC will go into test mode you have to enable test mode if you have some specific stuff you want to do with it or a software or some software you want to use 
a request for your PC to be in test mode for you to be able to use it. Now, for me to do that, I have to go to CMD, run as administrator, then my CMD opens. Now, the next thing I have to do is to go to my desktop. I'll go to test sign in since I don't want to type. I'll just copy the first line, then paste. And if you want to type, it's very easy. bcdedit.exe space hyphen set space load options space capital letters disable underscore integrity checks. Then you press you press enter then after that i'll go and copy the next one so i'll press copy and once i press copy i'll paste pcd edits just look at it and press enter now i'll i'll paste the whole stuff in my description so that you can easily copy and paste instead of um, having to um type everything so you can just copy from the youtube channel paste on your cmd and you are good to go now this is the error most of you might be facing an error has occurred setting the element data the value is protected by secure goods policy and cannot be modified or deleted um let me copy this message i'll need it later on um let's do this i'll paste it here and this is it i'll also take a snapshot snapshot of it now to on some pieces older pieces actually if you want to do this it will definitely once you press um enter on your test signing on it will definitely sign in it will definitely uh, tell you the operation completed successfully and once you get that um on some occasions i think um i've forgotten how it used to work on those older systems i think it would prompt you to restart your system and once the system restarts on the right hand side of your screen you start seeing test mode here test mode your windows version windows 11 home or pro um the version of the windows 11 or 10 or whatever and some other things there and that's how you know that you've been able to successfully boot your pc into um test signing that is test mode and disable integrity checks now for these newer systems um all you have to do is to disable your secure boots if you disable your secure boots and retry these steps you will be able to get full access to what you are actually looking for now um you to do that you have to turn off your pc and then you also need to know your pc's um brand uh, bios key on my lenovo laptop it's f2 on some hp laptops on hp laptops it's f10 to boot into bios and um, um dell is f12 so i think um samsung samsung is f4 if i'm not mistaken but i'll leave a link to one of my videos in the description as well so that you can watch it and see how to boot into your bios from that video that video will definitely help you a lot you don't need to guess it just watch the video see which bios key you need and then follow through with the rest of the video now all you have to do is to turn off your pc if you turn it off you turn it on then with your bios key from the later part of the video you'll be able to do that So for this um, part now, I believe by now you must have seen the watched the video in the description to get your brand boot key. Now my boot key on this Lenovo laptop is uh, my F2 button. So I'll just power on and keep tapping on my boot key. It has beeped now. Um, idea part five. Blah 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 blah. 
uh, that's not what I'm interested in. This is what I'm interested in. I'll go to security, go to secure boots, disable secure boots. Remember, you must have um, a very tangible reason why you are doing this. Otherwise, you might be messing with your system. I already told you mine. So I will do this and exit. So now my secure boot is disabled and I should be good to go. So now that the system has rebooted successfully and you've disabled your secure boot, We'll just head over and redo our steps. CMD run as administrator. Then I'll go to my desktop. I'll test sign in. Once I do the test sign in, I'll copy, paste, enter. Um, Copy, paste again, copy, paste, enter. Now the error has gone because we've disabled the secure boots. Now the operation completed successfully, which is exactly what we want. So that's just it. Now um, on your screen here, you, if I restart, once I re do a restart now, you'll be able to see test mode um, stuff right here so i'll restart the system and we'll check it out so i've done another restart and as you can see test mode windows 11 pro build 2600 blah 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 which means i've successfully activated my test mode so this is how to bypass that um, initial error and get your test mode to work So now that you've successfully booted your PC into test mode, we'll have to open um, SAMFRW2 again. I'll go to MTP and so now tell me your drive signature disabled, blah, 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 blah. So all you have to do is to allow it to, do you want to disable, blah, 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 blah. Reboot PC now, then allow it to reboot your PC and you definitely be fine so the system has restarted again I know I know I know the restarting is just too much for you but it's part of the process now I'll go to some FW FRP2 again and then I'll go to MTP I'll click on open browser YouTube then my phone will definitely um start installing and then tell me frp2 blah 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 which i don't need at the moment it's just for um for the sake of this video now i want to show you something um okay um if you go to misc okay um check driver enforcement status you can see that if in the at the initial stage it was disable it was only disable integrity checks that passed um no integrity checks and test signing didn't pass but now everything is working accordingly as it should be which means you've gotten everything right and the only thing is your win your pc has to stay in test mode if you still want to use um fw2 that um mtp option 
and the mcp option is not just for fw2 i think um somebody like um android utility uses it as well and um, um this other guy um uh, let me see if i can get the name sam aio i think so oh i think it's not here although it should uh -huh. sam fem aio all in one it also has that feature so um if you if you don't have um it, it's um on um android tools here bypass frp you press scan um get your select my samsung and then if you click on this bypass frp it will definitely pop up and um, give you send you to and send you a link that once you click it takes you straight to youtube for your frp bypass not really youtube but chrome but it will say youtube which is this bypass frp open youtube it won't really take you to youtube youtube it will just take you to youtube but you have to access the youtube through chrome on samsung i think it's usually um through um samsung browser and then on some rare occasions like the older samsung phones you get to use um, google chrome so that's it on how to do the sam fw2 1 over 3 check see you please don't forget to like and subscribe share with your friends and loved ones even your enemies as well see you in another video goodbye <laughs>